friends. A couple years ago, I discovered Scott's Cheap Flights and it is seriously life-changing. It's kind of rare that you find a service that's this good and this helpful with budget travel with like no real catch. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So although I found it easy to use, I realize it might be intimidating for some because it's not a booking platform per se, but rather an email list that directs you to a booking platform. So I thought I would take this opportunity to explain to you what Scott's Cheap Flights is if you've never heard of it, and also walk you through how to use it because it's really not that hard, even if it seems a little intimidating. So if you're looking to save money on flights, who doesn't want that? Let's dive right into it. Scott's Cheap Flights is an email service. You subscribe to an email list and they send you a bunch of flight deals. Scott's Cheap Flights banks on human error. Basically their team hunts for ticket prices that are significantly cheaper because either a glitch or a human put the price in at much lower than they should have. So they can save you hundreds of dollars on flights just because someone made a mistake and they were able to send it to you and you jumped on the price. There are a lot of different destinations included in this, literally everywhere, and many of the flights are direct. There are two types of memberships, a free one, yay, and a premium one. Boo, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the free membership deal just sends less than the premium. The premium membership is actually a great price, only $49 for a whole year. And if you just book one flight, you'll definitely get that money back. So if you are serious about traveling and flexible about where you want to go, it can totally be worth the cost. You can also test out the free version or even do a 14 day free trial of the premium version before you really have to pay anything. So if you are interested in using the service, keep watching because I also have a bunch of tips and advice for how to use Scott's Cheap Flights. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is subscribe to Scott's Cheap Flights, either free or premium. I recommend just trying out the free for seeing how you like it. Step two is you just wait for those emails to come through with deals. Step three, let's say an email comes through with awesome flight prices for a place that you've always wanted to go. So let's jump on that, book that flight right now before the deal goes away. Now, a lot of the times, these deals only last a day or two. So the second you realize that you wanna go on this trip and take advantage of this deal, book it right away. So we're gonna scroll down in the email and click the link to Google Flights for that deal that our buddy Scott told us about. So now we've clicked the link in the email and we're on Google Flights. We're gonna find the flight that we want and just book it. Step four, profit. I guess you're not really profiting because you're kind of spending money, but you're profiting in like life experiences. So that's cool. Enjoy your cheap vacation. Okay, so since we've gone over what it is and how to use it, I'm gonna give you some general tips to help you get the most out of your experience with Scott's Cheap Flights. Because it's all random, you're gonna have to be really open about where you wanna go and when. For example, Scott Keyes, the founder of Scott's Cheap Flights, flew from New York City to Milan for $130 round trip. Oh my God, guys, I wrote this script weeks ago and I completely forgot about that and I just like, am reacting again. Anyway, so Scott at that time was living in Washington DC and took a $20 bus ride from DC to New York City to get on this flight. Overall, it was still so much cheaper than he would have spent if he had flown out of DC. Typically, these cheap flights are available in the off season. So generally, these times in North America and Europe are January through mid-May and about September through December. If you're not really familiar with off-season travel, I have a video that goes into the pros and cons of off-season travel, advice for doing it, and also where you can go at any time of year and still save money. Book at the right time. To get the best deals, you're gonna need to plan ahead. Whether you're using Scott's Cheap Flights or not, timing is everything. Scott's Cheap Flights recommends booking one to three months out on a domestic flight and two to eight months out on an international flight. Also, the cheapest days to travel are generally Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Avoid Fridays and Sundays as they're typically the most expensive. And lastly, don't wait. Generally, these deals last anywhere from one to four days, with a lot of them being one to two days. So if you find a great deal, book it. Now you're ready to book your cheap flight. If you wanna see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I post videos every Sunday, and next week's video is gonna be all about visiting Amsterdam on a budget. Happy travels.